I noticed that the UK, or the Ukraine rather, president has put out a statement uh, this afternoon saying that uh, media outside of the Ukraine uh, are spreading panic. Is that a change in tone uh, from the Ukrainian president? Uh, probably. You do need a united uh, alliance to deal with these things, but the indicators and warnings at the moment will tell you that this is not necessarily inevitable. Uh, as the historian of my youth used to say, AJP Taylor, nothing is inevitable until it happens. And one of the problems we've got is that uh, Russia has never really joined the concert of Europe, and we have an imbalance and a symmetry of power here when you look at Russia versus Ukraine, but not a but a balance of power when you look at Russia versus NATO. It seems to me that NATO is stepping up to the plate in the sense that you can have both indicators of de-escalation and an intent to show that you are realistic about deterrence for the future. So on the left of ARC, you've got the German position, and that's fine at the moment. And on the right of ARC, you've got the UK and US position. But Germany and those who are more reticent will step, step up to the plate, I think, when the ambiguity of grey zone operations goes away should there be an invasion. And we really saw that with the four power statement, which followed the Scripple attack in 2018, when Berlin, Paris, Washington and London gave a very, very strong statement together about Russian action because it was compelling evidence.